Today I'm going to show you how to solve what's known as an Euler equation. An Euler equation is a second order linear ordinary differential equation where the first for y double prime is x squared, the second coefficient for y prime is alpha x, and the third coefficient for just y is beta, just a constant. And we're going to see that the, the key to finding the solution to this is by guessing that the solution is of the form y is equal to x to the r. Why do you guess that? You guess that because when you do that and differentiate y once and then twice and then add the respective coefficients, you'll see that it adds up to zero for a homogeneous equation. So it turns out to be just the right guess for this ODE. So let's go ahead and check out how to solve this linear differential equation. P of x, y double prime, plus Q of x, y prime, plus R of x, y is equal to zero. So it's a homogeneous linear uh, ODE. Now I want a one in front of my y double prime so that I can execute the algorithm. So I'm going to divide through by P of x. So I'll have Q of x over P of x, y prime, plus R of x over P of x, y here. And so here I'll just have a polynomial term and another polynomial term. Now what happens if P of x is equal to x, or actually you can have a constant in front of the x, we'll call that alpha x, and if R of x is beta, okay, just beta, just a constant, nothing in, no variables after the beta. So if you have this kind of a form of a second order ODE, then you have something called an Euler equation. And that's what we're gonna explore how to solve today. So how do you solve a second order ODE with these three coefficients? X squared in front of Y double prime, alpha X in, tr in front of Y prime, and beta in terms of Y. So to do that, let me erase this. Okay, so we're gonna have X squared y double prime plus alpha x y prime plus beta y okay so I'm gonna show you how to solve it in the simplest way possible for the simplest case so the simplest case is we guess that y is of the form x to the r okay and why do we do that well you're gonna see that y prime then is just r x r minus 1 and y double prime is r r minus 1 x to the r minus 2 so then our characteristic equation, if I write this out, is x squared, y double prime, bring that over here, r, r minus 1, x to the r minus 2, plus y prime is multiplied by alpha x, and y prime is just r x to the r minus 1, and uh, b, beta y, so I have beta, and y is just x to the r and this is a homogeneous equation, so it's equal to zero. So now watch what happens here. x squared and x to the r minus two, that becomes x, x to the r, okay? And I'm left with r, r minus one. Here I have x and x to the r minus one. Again, that becomes x to the r. But now I have alpha x, so alpha, uh, alpha r. And finally, for the last one, I have x to the r again, but now this time I have beta and all of this is equal to zero. So now you can see that I have x to the r, x to the r, x to the r, so now I can factor that out. So let me bring that over here. I can factor that out, so I'll have x to the r, and my characteristic equation is gonna be r, r minus one, plus this r, actually there's gonna be an alpha in front of it, so we're gonna have alpha r plus beta is equal to zero. So just now, just solve this. So you'll have r squared plus r times alpha minus one plus beta. And this is inside of x to the r is equal to zero. Now this is just quadratic equation. So this is gonna be your minus b. So minus alpha minus one plus minus the square root of uh, b squared. So alpha minus one squared plus minus, oh no, no, what am I doing? Minus four ac, four ac over two a. And this is gonna be what your r is equal to. So that means, that means your final answer is gonna minus one plus the square root of alpha minus one squared minus four beta over two plus c2 x to the, the same thing, but this time the negative root. So minus alpha minus one squared minus four beta over two. This is the solution to this differential equation. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.